Yeah, thank you very much. We're going to see it very quickly as we're already into the action. Banks, Jason, this is the same map pool we saw, with the exception of Nuke. And obviously, Gambit has had the last three series go in their favor. Oh, yeah, they have. This is going to be a good one. And we mentioned it earlier. We might we might end up seeing this matchup three times in this event. This is number two. At the moment, Hobbit looking for a flank. He's way, way back towards long A. Oh, a flashbang comes in. And Terz is going to cross with the bomb. And there is a player on Catwalk, Electronic. I'm going to try and land a headshot. Nade coming in from Perfecto, but a post plant is on the cards. When the last series was Inferno first, Dust 2 second, Mirage third. That was just two days ago. So this is just a slightly different order as Hobbit will take out Bit Electronic to get enters, but Hobbit and Naphne will close the round and Gambit start off with a 1-0 lead. Hobbit's going to sneak up Catwalk. There's a gap here as Electronic has just rotated towards mid. So Bit gets Naphne. That'll be much to your delight. Jason, as the bit watch will be back on. Mm -hmm. Talk, call him the, or I guess you've dubbed him the second half player. So getting rolling early. Saw so at some points in that match against Gambit. Uh, yes, two days ago, excuse me. I was going to say yesterday again, but, but he actually had, I think, five kills at half. So three, in fact, on one particular map and still was near the top at the end of it as Hobbit. Able to get a shot back on or into him rather from simple and Navi already responding bombs planted it's four on two so the bomb down for Gambit is still going to bode well in this situation as they try and rotate back over a boost for the smoke electronic sees above it from catwalk but exile able to get one back simple with the jumping no scope scout as only simple can do will give Navi round number two there's not just this but the deagle shot out towards long that was bit I believe to give them a two-man advantage so we're all tied up but naturally, there's a counter Molotov from the CTs to control the catwalk position. It's simple boomage and electronic all there. Electronic has to be careful. Drops off the angle as he gets dinked up and tagged down to 9 HP. Simple's come back out, though, again through the smoke and through the edge of the wall to find Shiro. So he's starting off in a great fashion to execute toward the A site. But keep in mind, Simple has supports. It's going to be support at best, by the way, of a flash from Electronic. Anything going his way would take him down, but they don't have a lot to throw other than two smokes that they've not yet used. Oddly enough, to even go for the wide peak, and that lets Simple just have a shooting gallery. Oh, he unscopes at the wrong time, but Bit and Electronic will close the round instead. Neither team wanted to get in any kind of a fight. Nobody's taking damage. Just now, Gambit pulling the trigger on mid to B. Bit's gonna have to drop a Molotov in towards B tunnels. That allows them to fight towards mid. He's got the first kill. Perfecto gets two as well, and he'll vacate the bomb site. It's a four on two retake. Four on two retake. As Hobbit was only able to get one, Inter's gonna try and cross over quickly and does manage to do so as Shiro fires back. Now remember, he's the one with the AWP and the one with the bomb and Perfecto goes straight in. They never anticipated them to be so aggressive and Perfecto wants his damn bomb site back. He'll get two and Navi find round four. Smoke out on the mouth was thrown late. Perfecto, I think, is going to try and get position in window instead to at least get something done as they're all going in this direction. No one's splitting mid anymore. Nade and oh no he's misthrown and it would have done damage it would have done so much damage as they don't have armor and perfecto only gets one this time before going down and it's bit for one as well on the awp but he's removed by the king of the multi-kill himself exile and brings it down to a two on two so a good round either way from gambit to take guns out of the hands of navi but it's all on hobbit who's late to rotate back through as he was trying to hold middle and catch off the rotations now he's just got to get kills he's done that on a simple but he has 10 seconds to find the second player and as he picks up a gun unfortunately he's not anticipated him to be on the site real costly and that's a good glimpse of how dangerous the deagles can be not even really utility for the gambit side but they knew there was just one little piece of weakness because they're between they're in no man's land they're between a catwalk hold and a long hold and again it's a mid to be split nobody's here electronic doesn't have vision perfecto's just spotted a gun barrel this is going to be a tough hold flashbang out and there's the opening kill Opener and a follow-up act by Bit as he not only got the flash in position, but finds Axile himself from the backside of the platform at B. Perfecto gets one also on the board, and Perfecto therefore has two in the round as it's all inters left alive. 30 seconds, and I don't think he's alive for much longer. Simple trying to slide out and get the shot. Careful, lads. Let's not lose too many guns as we find ourselves in a 7-1 scoreline. They'll work their way back in through the long position as well. 
Boomich is ready. This time on top of the dumpster, he's able to get two, and he'll fall left side. Bomb down. Smoke. No, excuse me. Grenade. He's already used his defensive utility, so he'll hold. He does have one more smoke to work with, but he's going to hold and just take the fight instead as he gets Naphany down. Hobbit left at a one on five, and... Man, oh man, Jason. The kills just aren't coming for Gambit at this point in time. Electronics able to just chill there for the moment. Flashbang going to be called for any second there. Oh, he peeks ahead of it. Not even a flashbang put out. Simple AWP around the smoke. Oh, no. A little bit of hubris, and there goes Boomich, and Simple's in an impossible scenario. And Gambit finally break into a bomb site, into the A bomb site. Get a plant and a round win, as Bitten Perfecto must save. Thankfully for Navi, they've got so much money. You touched on it. One player dying in the previous two rounds combined. And if he's able to survive, that means he's going to have a great post plant set up as well for the retake on A, should they even get that far as Boomich and Simple, the second AWP in Simple's hands. We'll try and hold it off, but how many gets Boomich? Simple to respond with one, goes out for more this time. He won't miss the edge of the smoke, and Hobbit goes down at Gandalf's door. As it's bit to get Exile back, and Shiro and Inter's left alone, flashed off. Simple rotates back around toward the ramp as he's able to get out of dodge. Dodging any utility thrown to take away that remaining 22 HP. Watch down below in CT as well as Electronic continues to try and get closer and closer. And they will pinch in and hold out Gambit once again. Hobbits, excuse me, Inters rather. Does eventually dodge a bullet, but gets traded by Bit. And I mentioned it, if they weren't going to take long, that second off was in such a powerful position. It's a round for Navi 9-2. to All five Gambit players in mid currently. Inters will go through mid doors. Bits double smoked, but he's forward of it. Flash won't even help Inters stay alive. He gets dropped immediately. And back toward Catwalk, the remaining players shall go with the exception of Exile, who wants to work out and try and take Boomich. Simple's got the first shot. Able to control from Cars so long as long is in their hands. And it is now, because Boomich has the kill. And this should be again straightforward as they are just getting locked on the Catwalk time and time again, even if they get forward to the platform. Now, if he already has such great position as Bit takes out Shiro, Hobbits pretty much. Gonna die in the exact same spot that he did last round as Bit will confirm it. Th these rounds are so convincing as well that Navi is winning. Holy hell, five people survive again. And hoping that a kill walks your direction, but the rest of the team this time with a bit more of a stance in the B tunnels early on as we begin the battle with Electronic falling down. And look what it does. It's Bit this time that's on the A side of AWP. And as soon as they chase Electronic, that's what the AWP has been waiting for. And they get the kill. Navi's got a perfect setup for what game is throwing at them up the catwalk as Perfecto again in B, this time only able to get one, will give up the site. Boomich the next in line, rotating him off A this time, so they've completely changed the setup and the positions for the CTs. And Boomich wants action, perhaps, as he wants to get flashed in. He is in. He spots one inside of the smoke, going toward the doors, but Hobbit is able to get an angle on him before he can finish the spray, and that again is going to secure more room inside of the site for Gambit as they double the smoke on the door as well and make things more awkward for Navi trying to get back in. And they're going to wait for a bit of utility to first dissipate from the defensive side of this bomb plant and then use theirs offensively to try and get back in. Simple, does he go for a crazy jump around the corner? You get a double op and an AK on this retake. Maybe just try and take guns down. Try to hold out the economy, but never mind that. Simple has walked through. Electronic gets Shiro, and it's all on Hobbit back at the site. Same angle again, but Electronic's not going to let him re-peek it and control it. He'll get and Navi fun. They almost double up, but Electronic is a god. 17 and 4, 11 to 2. This was Gambit's best chance in a long time, and it gets ripped out of their hands. Ripped out of their hands. But aggressive this time. They try and force it back in, and look who's that long. It's simple and boomage to completely shut it down. Good read. Navi is everywhere. They're everywhere Gambit want to be. Although Hobbit's right. got ideas. Might yeah. get something started in this round, Jason. Yeah, it's well, they're spread now on the defense. This is a chance here again. Oh, and Perfecto gets caught. Flashbang better be great, but they're going to be able to turn from it. They see it coming. He wants that third player. He's got it. They wrap around him, turn it into a two-on-two, -two, and Boomage is low, so simple. Has a lot of work to do, and he might go for a shot before Boomich even, even arrives. He might be willing to get a little bit frisky. Well, the shoulder check at doors should confirm that both players are deep inside of the site still, because no one peeking from closet or the tunnels. They'll know that platform is very likely, so a flash in Boomich only with that 13 HP. 
needs to hit a wonder shot on the M4. The simple does it for him. Now they can try and pinch it out as Inters this time has to clutch from the back of the site and it's on to Boomich. He's got one kill in this round, but Inters has two and two will do to give Na'Vi, or excuse me, rather Gambit their third round. Perfect, though. Defensive incendiary knowing that the electronic play is behind him and in position to cover off tunnels he just wants to delay the take and electronic with the kill is executed that setup perfectly simple was even there to support and he's on back around he's gonna find more as he gets nafany down it's boomage to close out the round the half and get a few more kills on the board for him but 18 to lead the way for electronic and how good was perfecto at the start of the half Enters aware that middle might be a problem, backs away inside of B to fortify the site, and hopefully Shiro would have been able to get an angle and push out from CT, but a smoke down in his face. Enters is gone. The site is open. And Shiro finally gets one more kill on the board to make it a three on three as he spammed at the door. I mistakenly thought he actually got a kill there on the kill feed, but... Naphany now waits at the window, bomb to be planted, and he'll go straight in. Oh my goodness, Bit had to be so careful on that. Simple was planting, got him instead. Electronic was slow to react, but in the end, all the kills go the way of Navi, and they'll survive the pistol with a 13 to 3 scoreline. They're looking pretty good on Dust 2. That's like a save, be Izzy. Soccer as well. Well, not if you're Switzerland against Mbappe. Ooh. Bits gets two in a spray down. Inters and Hobbit are gone. And Axal finally gets one back with his deagle, but then Perfecto. And Simple and Perfecto alone to get Naphany. Although one more was in that. Shiro quick on the case will take down Simple. This is getting costly. It's still a one on two. Bombs down. And it's thankfully inside of the cave and not spotted by Shiro. But he has an indication, an inclination rather, that there is a player still toward the dumpster. And Perfecto now engages in the action, but just wants to buy some time because the flank is coming in and Electronic does get the kill, but it goes to a one-on-one, -on -one, albeit briefly. Electronic wants to go toward the catwalk, but unaware that Shiro has an off angle and without an AWP, he's happy to use the FAMAS and happy to give Gambit a lead. But this far down 14 to 3. It would only just be consolation. Still not an overtime point. I've seen bigger comebacks. We all have. Anyone watching certainly has. As Hobbit will take out Boomich. It's on to Bit and Perfecto with a smoke down. Bit's able to at least transfer up, catch out Hobbit. They boost that elevator. Perfecto's got that. And now he's got Naphany. Bit's gonna close the round. Navi shut them down immediately, despite that it looked almost doomed. That's stupendous. That's foolish. That's anything you want to put on it. Now it's going to be a rush toward Hobbit who catches out one line up for two. Switches over. Can't do it. Bit gets his vision back and comes through the smoke to emerge victorious inside of the beast site. Bomb will arrive there now and look at the rotation. The cavalry is in position as simple. I don't know if he actually did spot Shiro late, but knows that they've crossed over and will start to get in toward tunnels instead for the post plant on the AWP. And good thing he's got there when he did because suddenly it's a one on four. Gambit trying to make amends with losing the last round will win out this one when again it was their turn not to, according to the economy. And simple AWP backs off. We'll go 15 to four. Yeah. Good kills from Exile and Hobbit. They're going to need a lot more of this though. Navi going to get forced back for the moment and uh, no sweat. They still have, what, 11 chances. With this much of a lead, you're just saying, all right, Gambit, show us that you're going to be awake for map number two. Show us that you're playing yourself into shape at such a desperate situation. And this B-Rush, it looked like it was real possible at delivering a knockout punch. No defenders inside the bomb site, but they get three kills from outside of the site. There goes Shiro. Simple's got two, and he's left in a one versus three, but he's got an ace as well. He's got to try and ace with an AWP that he's picked up from Shiro, but flames at his feet will force him off. You are going to be just fine with rifles, so we might see again Perfecto and Boomich have to play around with Tech-9s or SMGs or upgraded Deagles. Here we go. Full set piece. Small top smoke snades. Shiro blinded off the angle, but yeah, the two ops, you're really running the gauntlet this time around, and Shiro's not going to miss that. Nafany adds another, and it is a turkey shoot. Simple waiting for a repeat. It's not happening. Bit going to get naded. And they've already wrapped wide upon him. He's never going to get that plant. And Simple's not going to get anything. Mm, well, he'll make you eat your words a little all bit, Jason. Yeah. He gets we'll one, but the round gone. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. We'll give it to him. 
at least just picking one player off to the b-bomb site we go but it's a very powerful defense off in window blinded enters goes down shiro gonna go for the repeat that might have been the only chance he's got he's gonna go back and perfecto puts him down that is the all important kill and it opens up this flank from electronic he can go for the big flank dropping down or come back towards mid either way gambit's got a desperate 3v4 retake into the closet bit will cop the brunt of that damage as he was sitting there and unable to go anywhere else navi trying to win out this game they're gonna do it finally by getting the bomb down in b it took them five rounds in a row of trying to do so but jason they get there and we have map one done already yeah they had all day that's listen, i don't care about the little run at the end from gambit that is a incredibly dominant victory from a little sound cue to make them think that they're starting to clear the half wall to keep them frozen at B as long as possible. Shot coming back in, enters, only gets one. Electronics able to bust out from the apartment and get him in return, and they'll swarm in, take the USP, and now try and hold out the pit position. Bomb to be planted as well, as simple just watches to make sure no one's gonna wrap back around at brackets. Simple. Waiting as well to see if anyone's going to go that way as Shiro looks to try and wrap around and Electronic getting the kill on Naphne will make this retake less and less likely. So despite that they got that kill early on Banana, this round's gone. And even though it's a two on three, not the worst situation, Jason. They don't have kits and they've got some armor, so they want to save that into the next round. They're going to back off and just see if they can't do something better in round number two. Yeah, upgrade to head armor for, for ultra cheap, right? And then get those deagles. A lot of the calls for weapons, we know Dust2 has so many long angles, the SMGs aren't as prompt. It's certainly not on a CT side early on, but there you go. I was going to say, Inferno still has a decent amount of those long angles where rifles are deadly, even in these situations, and you certainly would still want to have them against Eagles, as Simple gets an excellent shot with the AK to start it off. Mac 10, there you go. Distance doesn't even matter this time, apparently. Boomich sprays down too, and they can't get anything in response. They will throw a few nades out as Perfecto falls to 13 HP. Simple gets a second, the penetration power of the AK, and not a single gun lost, and one, two, make it three kills on Mac 10s that I could see. So that's a decent amount of money gained by those players as well. And those players, yeah. of course, being Boomich and Perfecto. They want to be able to crunch on the initial banana take soon, when this Molotov subsides, you imagine. Shiro holding in tight to the wall so as not to be spotted as his teammates brutally get murdered behind him. Boomich Holy on four. Hell. Can we get a Boomich ace? Look at the money he has already. That's just foolish. Naf and he's just like, all right, guys, I'm just going to sit here in the corner, play hide and go seek. They're letting Boomich go for it, too. Boomich ace. Boomich ace. Turn around, Boomich. There it is. He's got all five. Nice. Gambit was holding onto this stack, but you can see Inters on the minimap just rotating away. He was a third player over towards Cubby on the other side of mid. Here comes the brackets take. Flashbangs, utility. Nafany traded off. Shiro still alive with the ADP. It's a leg shot. He's going to back off into the flames and force them back forward into the hands of Simple, who helps to get a double kill. And there's his second. And Navi have access to the A bomb site. Absolutely, they do. And they'll take it. Hobbit's going to rotate around and get toward the arches, try and make something of this, as he has a one-on-three situation to go against. Going to sneak it out toward the top mid-side wall. Nothing happening as of that point yet, and no one to be found. So this round looking increasingly like it's out of his control. Perfecto gets the kill in response. And just like that, the round again to Navi. Five, nothing. Another emphatic start by... Again, Shiro pulled just a little bit. This time he falls back in time towards rap side. He's going to get aggressive as well. He wants to pick him up as they head towards up lane. And there it is, but immediately traded. Exile holding inside his sight, though, has a player in pit in the form of Inters to try and support him, and he's going to get up on top of the bicycle. That's like riding a bike, Jason. And it's going to work out brilliantly because they look his direction, and Exile, the multi-kill master, finds two more again. It's perfect, though. Desperate to go inside, even runs, guns, and spray transfers all at the same time. But he should probably focus on chewing bubblegum and walking first. Smokes are out. Hobbit 
oranges too with a quick bounce flash can peek behind this but they aren't in so he's actually gone a little bit too early with that and he realizes it trying not to find a better position but the molotov's down behind he's just gonna hold the ankle he'll manage to do it shiro gets one as well but then electronic and perfecto come in together it doesn't matter which one of them has the bomb now jason because it's planted although it might matter for electronic because as he plants it the nade goes in his direction he the hotter target of the two will now try and work his way back around toward the chapel and the rotations from the other two players a little bit behind enters an exile just getting towards ct connector now as they came from the far side of the a site and they'll work together to chapel shoulder shows electronic smartly doesn't go any further and he's able to bait out the shots but they aren't able to control he does at least get around to trade off his teammate but has to be aware they're both coming from the same position looks for the headshot enters gets it instead does he have the time he's got a kick should and it should be gambit second round yeah but that's real close electronic almost gave himself an opportunity to pop right back up and they don't want to at all from their perspective of things is the fire on the box doesn't actually reach Naphne, so he's able to stand above it and then fall down inside of it. He'll put a smoke out to extinguish as Hobbit comes into the picture and look at Shiro. Already rotating around, already boosted up. Simple gets taken down from behind. And Perfecto at least salvages something of some cell phone her, but nothing for the team. And we're back to within one good response four in a row for Gambit. Enters with a good position to help Exile out because he'll be the first point of contact when they round that corner and with the aggro pulled, Exile is easily able to collect. He not only assists the first, but finds the second one on his own and then enters still alive and all of that, is able to take down Bit Perfecto. One on the Tech 9, it's Hobbit that he gets, but as he wraps around, he's actually picked up an AK. Could be this costly as he gets Exile as well. Watch the low HP, enters is extremely tenuously stuck at the back of the site and as he wraps around, he should be able to spot him out, jumps up, but Naphne thankfully gets back into a position of power just in the nick of time to save his teammates. He'll get a smoke out in the hallways. That's where Navi are actually heading at this exact moment, but a flash onto him. They're going to push through that naturally. One's already in the pit. We didn't quite catch it from Shiro's perspective, but good thing we're there because he's the one that needs to get the kills and he's being wrapped on. Good shot on Inters, but Shiro holds his ground. Unfortunately, now his ground is slightly muddied. Thankfully, Bit, the one with the M4, is the one that's also in the pit because he jumped in to get that kill and maybe he'll come alive now, Jason, as the Nate will do a bit of damage. Take that back. It barely touched Shiro. And he'll continue to walk in with the op. Hobbit the kill. Bits wide. Bits wide indeed. AWP gets the shot back. The pistol in the sight. It's simple that has to hold. He's got a reload. Ooh, Naphne was slow to get in position, but they'll get it. And they're on the defuse just barely in time. I think he thought that Shiro was definitely going to get the kill with the M4. That's a close round. And Inters just went over to boost the player on Flowers, who's still there, Naphne. He's not left. They didn't want to shuffle the B positioning, but you're right. Scares Navi enough, and Hobbit now has control from Library. As Electronic waits outside the door to try and take that engagement. Hobbit finds that as well. Bits trying to do more, but look at the absolute slaughter on the site. Hobbit even swings to get that shot as far away as possible. And the rest of the kills light up in blue. Gambit, eight in a row. Shiro, Hobbit, and Naphne setting a triangle up to try and shut this down, but who's going to have vision? How are they going to try and get each other back into positions of relevance as the smokes are already landing? Shiro thinks better of it. He thoughts to try and slow them down with utility, but realizes, hang on, I've got an off, and I don't see any more smokes or flashes coming over the walls, so he positions himself instead to get the kill. They have lost Hobbit, but it's still three in the sight, and they may not anticipate new boxes. Naphne's going to wait for his opportunity to strike, and it's given to him now as Perfecto walks out. It doesn't even look that direction. They can't see it from water either, and a self-smoke to give him an angle as well to cover off banana watch out up close it's shiro gotten simple down and just like that gambit survived with four alive despite that b take have a chance to fire he's gonna peek out and actually oh simple's there but the smoke's still in a strong enough fashion to disallow any vision so he waits instead to see if he slides out and simple sprays in and as that fades though they chase down the awp and enters pops out perfectly from cubby and is able to get a kill exile adds to that as well it covers off the balcony but they have lost the op now which means oh they may lose position exile is just so damn good defensively 10 in a row for gambit to close the half 10-5 the score stepped up a lot unfortunately his teammates stopped getting kills at the time that he started he's almost caught the rest of the team as simple waits toward the arch this time usp Flash too far, too deep, spots two, and that's his cue to leave to back away as Bit stuck inside of the site. 
has a problem. He's being pinched. Rapping from either side. He needs his teammates, specifically at Graveyard and at Pit, to do decent work, but they jump above. The Electronic at least gets one back. They're inside the site, however, and a safe plant backside. Oh Electronic's gonna take that away. How has he managed to do this? Staying alive in the most obvious and predictable of positions, but using the angles perfectly, as now he'll bring his teammate back in as well, and boom, it's... Oh, Library, this could be... Alright, spotted. I was gonna say very smart from Nafni. He still gives the shadow of doubt, though, right? He still hasn't gone. And you retake the B-bomb Slate or he's found one-on-one -on -one duels everywhere he goes. Problem is, I mean, you obviously can't ever know where that other player is. Although Boomich is so deep into the site. Oh no, he's given it up. Boomich a little bit nervous on the trigger. naffin has got the P250 closing the gap. Shooting around and Boomich has got it, thankfully. Thankfully wow. he's got it. And they finally put a stop to the 10 round run. And this A bomb site is in a lot of trouble. Three players from Gambit to wrap. Flash goes back in. Simple relocation works well. They knew they gave up the arch, but he wasn't expecting three players on that side. Why so many? Axile gets the kill in return. His bit and electronic will keep things calm and controlled. Hobbit trying desperately to drop down and take out two. Can't set his aim fast enough to electronic, who has been an anchor in the pit, and it's now two rounds the difference. The fact that Electronic's out of pit this time, it's still a good position for the CTs. And the B players are aware as well that the CT was open, so they aren't going to leave just yet. They're going to hold their position, and they may not even get that far because Simple is doing all of the work, finds a third, enters with the Deagle, is really just about to hit a splendid shot. Okay, there we go. We're all yeah, there in the end. That's that's well done from Simple. If they're coming up lane like that, Bid only has, what, like 15 HP, and he's the one who's got to watch from on top of the box. He can't be dedicated to a fight. His only option is to bait them into Electronic. That could have been actually really difficult to handle this hit if it weren't for Simple being able to grab two in lane and one up in the halls. Oh, yeah, perfecto. Holding the line. They're going to chase him down. I don't know if they saw Boomich, but they certainly nade him very well. Perfecto's got one. Now they know where Boomich is. There's the flashbang, but it doesn't blind Shiro. Bomb's going to go down with just seven seconds remaining, and it's a three on three. One Molotov for the CT side to use, and it might all be down to this banana fight. Might be with Shiro as AWP in this position as well. Simple gets him through the wall. That's lovely on the M4 as Shiro flicked back tried so desperately as he'd already checked off that position wanted to look further into the corner exile now on the side erased by bit sliding in and bit watch well shut down but it opens up a very important position for electronic to come in and we've got a tie game at 10 to 10 another five round streak for navi and this is where gambit opened up in the first half we'll see if they can do it again bit's gonna sneak back in toward the arch this could be a problem though because the timing is that they are at the top side of middle they'll clear out coming he's gonna hear that and he knows they're running around so he sneaks out no one else there to trade though no one to go that aggressively and bit's gonna get away oh he comes he back, comes for, back more. for another yeah it's a big double kill i thought he was gonna get a flashbang from a teammate and he didn't even ask for it didn't even need it simple still got one double pit one at the B bomb site, one in CT spawn who can traverse between the bomb sites real quick. This is almost, uh, this is such a tough round for not, for Gambit to break back into. Molotov burning at the feet of Electronic, but again, Simple still on the balcony. One and drop, that's all he has to do. Jump up, watch. Good flash. Self flash back in and Electronic in position as well because I was going to say, watch that side of the cart if he gets too aggressive to try and swing above at balcony, but all laughs and smiles for Simple as they're enjoying themselves. Turn around though. Inter's getting one back to try and make this still an awkward situation. Man advantage and double that up as Simple's only able to get one. They swing behind. These deagles are absolutely devastating. Hobbits. Now inside of the boiler position. Tech 9 only and I think yeah, Navi's out of here. They're done with it. So 11-11. Gambit not allowing Navi's lead to stretch more than one. Oh, it's going to rotate back very quickly toward Boiler and try and get over toward A, but A has the positioning covered off. Oh, oh no. By Bits and Electronic, who's been so good here, but Electronic this time flushed out by the Molotov. Tries to look away, expecting a flash on top of it. He only gets one this time, but Bit is in the pits. I take that back. He's not. I'm sorry. It rhymed and it got stuck in my head. He's inside the site, but he's gone now. Hobbit's got the kill, and it's a two-on-two. Two. Simple. He's going to work out from Library, but he's going to wait just a minute as well because Perfecto... He's trying oh, no. to get position. Oh, Hobbit. Oh, Hobbit. 
This is an easy kill. This is done now. Knife out. You hate to see it if he gets turned and spotted, but Hobbit getting the job done. Leaves it all in simple to go aggressive. Knows the Chiro's in the back of the site. Baits out the first shot on the op, but doesn't want to overcommit to the peak. Hobbit's not in position, so he should be trying to push this man down. He does get him now, and he knows Hobbit was upstairs in the apartments, but he had the option to go both directions, so how does Simple possibly discern where he's gone? He won't. He'll get the op and get away instead, okay. and it's going to be the round to Gambit and the lead as well. Does he get Hobbit down? Does the gun get away? Simple's got the shot. Bomb's gonna blow up. He's got 13. He's lost the rifle as well. How aggressive does Gambit want to be? Smoke, probably a pop flash to make it feel like a hole's pop. That's a big kill. This is all important. One more, and they can seal it. Ooh. A dink. Oh, an electronic. He lives to the task. He steps up. But Perfecto needs to get back. That Molotov's gonna be critically important. It's not gonna block off anything. They've already crossed over to water. Spam coming in. And Bits got one more. That's the dink to clean up. And here comes a boost, a late boost. It's going to stop the plant. This round's all Navi. All Navi, 13 seconds. Exile desperately will run forward for the ball, but he's missed the jump back up from water and the flash coming in to collect up the kills. Boom, it's perfect, though. The ones that get the scoreboard, but Naphany up by the smoke. They'll hear simple firing through. They aren't going to push it. No counter flash to try and run him down before he gets inside of the archway. Still, though, they get him. Naphany holding the angle as simple repeats, but Bates responding. And now it's electronic where he's shone so many times, but not with the AK. Gets taken down, and Shiro with two on the rifle, not the AWP. Navi is running away, Jason. They've got to hold on to the AKs that they have. Gambit might have won the most recent series. Yes, Navi's capable and have beaten them before that on a streak. It's always close and exciting. Even, even the first game where it looked like it was going to get blown wide open. Turned out to be decent in the end, and this one's been fantastic. Naphany, this was spectacular to get Simple down as we saw him shuffling for position, and then the round fell apart from there. Up on top, waiting it out, looking away so that utility doesn't blind him. They don't check it. Boomish. He's going to steal the aggro away, and that's when Perfecto strikes. Axile down, 30 HP for Boomich as he swings out, jumping even with that MP9 to try and deter those crosshairs, make them move, but they move in all the right ways as Inters, Shiro, and Hobbit each find kills. Perfecto to hold with Electronic and try and get back in on the retake. Down to a two-on-two -on -two already as Shiro falls, and Perfecto starts to rotate back through the chapel just as his teammate will get in position. Perfecto has the only kick currently in play. But they're running out of utility. In fact, none at all left for them. And they walk in without the smokes. And that means Inters is able to drop them both down. 14 for Gambit. 14 to 12. And Navi have to buy everything into it. And he's already dropped by Shiro with the AWP. Desperate scenario for Navi after such a good half. Exile again to chase down Boomich. CZ75 for him this time. He won't run out of ammo because he never got to fire a shot as he gets taken out very quickly on the half wall. 10 to nothing run in the first half. And at the moment, it's four to one in the last five. But they might just go on this little mini run to close out the entire map. Well, it looks like they'll at least get overtime point with it because Perfecto's down and that bomb will work its way inside of the B site. Electronic, I don't think, left that position the entire round. I was really hoping someone would walk by and... So back off, Electronic. Flash for Simple. Who goes out. Goes out too far. Didn't expect him to be so close. Hadn't heard anything. And that's Naphany to get both on the A side. And it might just be the end of the map as... Bit boom at Shimperfecto will get on the horse and start trotting back over toward the A site, but Exile knows they're going to be coming that direction, and he pushes down towards CT. Didn't see the second player on highway, but falls off smartly into library, and I think the writing is on the wall, if not in the pages of those books, as Exile rotates back in, and very safely, they will control the situation. Chiro with the kill. Exile to close the map. Fires a little bit early, but the headshot on return, and down they go. Down goes Navi, and into Mirage we will find ourselves in this series. Yeah, that's a really good map. That, that's an excellent map. Still down, dropping inside of B. He has Perfecto swinging around the back side of the site as well as have Bit getting a shot from Arches. They've lost both those players, though. Just as I was going to say, they're in a good position. 
Suddenly, B site becomes more of an opportunity. Electronic waiting. Simple gets the call that there's one toward bench, but his backside shows, and now he's forced to fight. Forced to jump out. Nafany's got that shot, and there's a chance they can no. cover off window. They saw the player trying to get through. Problem being is that when they want to get inside, Nafany's got simple down, and it's all on Boomage. This is outrageous. This can't happen if you're not. You have to start this map. You had this pistol round. It was a five on two. Boomage left all alone to pick up the pieces. He's at least out, but he's been spotted. Nafany with a quad kill, and what an unlikely pistol round for Gambit to win. Close indeed. Can't get it done, though. Swings out and Hobbit. Galil instead gets the headshot. They know he's weak, so they're trying to capitalize. Instead, though, they get Shiro, so they still have the information that Hobbit is extremely low. Is Exile taken out by Boomich, and finally they'll get Hobbit down as they jump back up into the window. Bomb gets planted. Nafany at the triple box will turn immediately from that and look to his obligation of holding off connector. But it is the advantage for Navi. Their best chance potentially to get back into this. However, there's no kits. So it's going to be a serious problem if they don't work inside of the site soon. And already the exchange goes down as Nafany takes out Simple, who could not find the shot in return. Boomich taps the bomb to try and bait some peaks. But it's a rotation through the mid window. And that means back to connector. And that means with a line of sight to the bomb, which now is accessible. Oh. And without the kit, Nafany's got an easy job of winning it out with four now for Gambit. Yeah, quad kill. He's up to nine so far in this in this map. That is excellent work. Good reposition after the bomb gets planted. Simple never expected it. Simple's not going to back away from anything with this AWP. And Nafany optimistically slides out toward the A site. And Simple will slide his dog tag into the pocket as he gets one kill in this round. Look oh, for no. Exxon. I thought he had the kill already on Boomich. Had to turn back. Could have been awkward. Instead, though, Bit's going to fight forward rather than turn around to take that kill because Electronic has it covered. Utility, my friend. Put it away. Get the gun back out, and Bit gets the double. Calm down, everyone. It's totally fine. You know, crazy things happen. Sometimes it doesn't always get through. It's true. Right here, look at this. Oh. Bit's like, well, I, wait, oh. Got, well, yeah, sure didn't even look at it. Holding out inside of the A site with Electronic to play off of. It's perfecto again, up by the bench. This time, the rifle, not just the Deagle. This time, here's the second set of footsteps, but Inters has the kill clean. And Bits left alone on Arch as they'll start to walk down inside of the apartment. Thankfully, Simple's already rotated over toward Checker. He gets one on the AWP, but one, Simple, hardly done. As Bits gonna find Hobbit, it might be the round over. Instead, Nafany just getting into position on Cat while coming back through. Good movement to get on to position to get up in the face of Bit, but he's ready for it, and it's Shiro left to um, basically wait this one out. Electronic. I love you guys, Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> Exile goes in and it's bit to be found Perfecto once again in the B site This time not aggressively in the halls Is going to play behind the bench Nade goes out Molotov in behind it But he stands high and above Using it as elevation to elevate his aim and game To get two more And simple and electronic close it out 5-3 to three. Navi continue this small comeback And try not this game even wants to hold it back in underneath of the palm position, but that's very vulnerable, very open from multiple angles. Hobbit, just aggressive, just straight in. Needs to take some map control, and he'll get it, but Simple is able to swing back out. The double position at jungle allows them to get away with that, and he tries to find more, but Exile ready takes him down with a headshot immediately. He looked low, not on the ledge. Oh, no. Bit flashed off, is gonna get caught because he could not get through the doorway. Boomage, that's Molotov. Thankfully, his teammate's going to extinguish that, but that reveals there's two in that position, and they're trying to play the angle. Shiro's got the shot instead, and Shiro's going to go back shortly to close it out. Can't quite hit it. Careful with the jump, but Boomage on the dump is going to run away. Swaps out the AK for M4. No, excuse me. It was going to be M4, M4. He's either way, done in this round. Didn't want to reload. Just leaves. Shot from Simple. Perfect to take down Hobbit. No utility. They wanted to go for the straight face. And finally, Simple's going to have something to fire at and get this AWP potentially going in the map. As they Molotov in toward Connector, we snap over and catch Boomich going one for one as Nafany puts him back down after Shiro was lost. Lost but not forgotten. However, 
It's the man advantage for Na'Vi as a result, and Simple on the AWP is definitely trying to see what else will happen on the A site. There's still a presence there as Naphany with the AWP picked up is going to try and get in position. Is flashed out, tries to go for the shot, and he will. He'll get electronic through the smoke. That brings it level. Smoke is well to be deployed toward the top of jungle. Simple has to swing out. No one inside a palace, but there is a late lurk in mid, and that could be a huge problem if Bitsnade not, not able to spot it, but he does. Now Simple knows he's got Ooh. confidence to be aggressive, and he'll do exactly that as Naphany gets taken down by the no scope enters running the bomb to be in a desperate attempt but he actually slows his own pace down molotov thrown toward checker though but as you say bit was already pushing up for this information did you spot him no he didn't wow it just didn't see that at all and bit's got an easy shot though this position ah he looks high bit he considered it but it was Naphany that had the upper hand, and now they'll wrap around. Missed shots from Perfecto. Naphany's doubled up. He might be blind. He might be up 21 HP, but he's done a tremendous job. Simple's missed a shot as well, and it's misses that will cost them as Gambit bust into the B site. Boomich will have to wrap back around toward Catwalk, and still, they have that ladder position. Hobbit's going to go out aggressively. Shiro's behind it, so even though Hobbit goes down, Shiro, ooh, okay. Evasive maneuvers from Boomich as he falls off the ledge, but they're going to fall away from the round and save their weapons as we go now eight rounds for Gambit. Bit's going to try and force the issue as well to help Boomich out with that deagle. He comes out and spams a few shots speculatively toward a main, and they both go down. It was supposed to be distracting and that they wouldn't spot the inside of the site. The second man close up, and Electronic has to wait on the back side of the smoke as Perfecto works his way in from CT, but look at the amount of fire. That one went a little deep to hold him off. That one went too deep. Simple's got one, he's traded back out. Electronic holds the position, Perfecto. He's inside of those flames, and he's got angle. He's got room, and he's got the shot on New Exile. Enters now in a one on two to try and get back in position. Kit for Electronic. Perfecto doing everything he can to try and pull him out. They think he's deep. They don't know that he's sandwiched, but the response is perfect, and Perfecto's aim snaps over to find round number six. Shiro even heading this direction by way of the underpass. Perfecto to hold it. He's got the first on to Hobbit. Perfection, the enemy of progress, and he wants to deny any progress toward that bomb by the way of Gambit, but Exile's got the shot in return, and Bit has to trade it back. That allows Electronic back inside of the site, and it's all down to Inters to close the half, and unfortunately, Inters is out of time. This round goes to Na'Vi, and we will have an 8-7 split when we swap over. That's a really nice recovery there from Na'Vi. They're becoming Hobbit's aggressive. Waiting They're learning. He sees the smoke over top of A. He's going to get pushed off this, Jason. Yeah, he really is. That's what happens when you get shot in the face. So, five on five retake scenario. Shiro blinded up, but still gets the kill. Bit falls down. Oh, and more coming. Simple's going to try and respond. That's all the way from Palace. Boomich hiding, ready and waiting. There's the pounce. There's the shot. Three on three. And Simple still peeking out for more. Looking towards triple boxes in Ters. No one committed yet from Gambit side of things. And here we go. Tap onto the ball. But Simple's got that with quick efficiency. And that's going to be the signal to back away for Gambit. They can no longer win. Kit's on the ground. Kit is on the ground. Hobbit trying to do what he can against Boomich just to take him down. But he will get killed off just like the rest of his team with the exception of Exile. There's very likely to be the AWP out for Shiro, and he's going to go straight toward middle. No blocking of the smoke. Timing on the shots? Not quite right. Boomich not only was above the crosshair placement, but he was ahead of it as well. That means he can get toward middle, but Axile immediately sneaks back out and finds him on the M4. Inters flashed, holding off, and Axile has to rotate back around. They knew he was pushed out. They knew that means there was only one inside of B, and there was a chance, but what a hold from Gambit. Electronic at least gets down toward the van, but he's got one HP. And Simple we might have it all to do here against four. He starts it off using his teammates to help get him inside of the site. Electronic may fall, but he gets the one kill in return. Still has the ball, but does he know Naphany's behind him? Absolutely not. Naphany just barely got by before Simple checked it. They'll still have the AKs, and this will be the last round they potentially have them if they're not careful. Hobbit close up. Wanted to use that very small radius gap in the smoke at the bottom corner, and he does. Bit goes back into it, and Hobbit reads it perfectly, hears it as well, and falls to shadow. And I expect they'll anticipate his positioning to be as such, so they'll eventually clear it, not using utility, not spraying through the top, but by Boomich 
bypassing Shiro and getting to Sandwich, and look how focused Shiro is on that position, but yet still can't spot him. And Boomich gets back out to Tetris. I don't think Shiro's even aware. He's still staring there. He, he's this is distracted and occupied. This is weird, though. The only utility that Navi has is on Perfecto, so they need Simple to open it up, be aggressive with the AWP. There's no smokes, there's no Molotovs, but there's just oh. the op. That is brilliant. Navi going to find it 11th. Bomb explodes. Navi takes the round. Inters keeps his gun, but we now have a two-round buffer for Navi. Electronic is the one heading that direction. Bomb as well is also over here, so he speaks out. If he actually gets the kill fast enough, I was going to say he might spot both of them as well as the bomb, but instead he falls back. We just barely saw him being spotted out as he did so, but meanwhile, it's over toward A, where Bit is progressing forward and further into the site where Axile waits, but he only gets the one. There's two there. He doesn't know there's two there. Hobbit, he's aware that he's gotten around behind him and sneaks out for Firebox. They'll try and set the crossfire. Perfecto will eventually go down. Bomb, meanwhile, though, is coming back through Connector, and Bit is trying to do what he can to hold it. Shiro. AWP can't do anything through default. Even tries to spam the edge of it. That gives Hobbit a chance to try and shoot as well. Shiro's got Boomich at least. There has to be a third man in this, but where is Inters? He's taken so long to get in position, but now he will. And surely Bit's found by it, drops him immediately, and they have to deal with Simple, who's out toward middle. He's got the first already, and it's an op versus op. Shiro the hero versus Simple the absolute slasher, and he's going to try and come back around through as he baits out the barrel, trying to get Shiro closer to his position, trying to just buy time. And Shiro, he's gone for it but won't commit to it. And he's still trying to get Simple to peek. He can't, he won't, he gives it up. It's a battle of wits and Simple comes out on top. Oh, and Simple even goes hunting for it at the end. Of course he does, but what a masterfully played one-on-one -on -one with another really talented opper. Shiro, unfortunately, getting outplayed there in the time of the bomb, an opponent as well. Here we go. Pop flash through the smoke. Set pieces in, first kill goes to Exile, and he gets another one onto it. The multi-kill is there, but only for two. Exile now stuck into Palace, and Nathany shows up at just the perfect moment. It's all on Boomich, and he's got the bomb. He can sneak away. He's only got interns to deal with at this B-bomb site. Lurking in market, and a good timing is going to be found, and Boomich not going to be able to get this plant. He's going to die instead. 13 to 10, Gambit is still alive. Meanwhile, Perfecto lurking out from middle is going to try and get inside of Connector and clear for Navi. Has to be aware of Shiro's position on the cap, but watch out, Hobbit. Not checked, able to get one. Sees the second one up close. He'll make that call as Nafti's able to take out Electronic. It's Axile to add to this as Boomich now has to wrap around. He might. They know he's there, but Perfecto got the kill to give him the space to do it. And we still, despite being down a man, have a chance to pull back into this bomb. Not with Shiro on the case. He's got the bomb well in his sights, and Boomich falls to his AWP as well. It's all on Perfecto. I'm not sure he's going to be aware that Shiro he switched over to the rifle and wants to get aggressive. He'll drop down. That'll make noise. You thought that AK lineup was there, but Shiro gets the shot instead, and we're two rounds apart. Knowing that that's revealed his position as he has to run, he'll throw a Molotov back up into the window himself and make sure that he's not caught out in exchange. He's fine, though. Exile to get bit down. Finally, the CTs get the start they need. Gambit back into the advantage and doubling up as Nafany will get Boomich. Perfecto. Catwalk. Bomb's already in B. Electronic's already on the floor. They'll have heard him jump down. They might have problems now as well because the bomb... Okay, it did fall into the position that Electronic can recover it, but he's got bigger issues to worry about in a one-on-four, and Gambit have tied the game. Out of fake, just keeping a player there for the moment. This is all going to be on the holes prop. Oh, and the Molotov splits them. Electronic's the only player out. He's gone down for free. Hobbit's in an engagement. Eventually traded off, and Boomich has made his way all the way in. The difference this time going all the way in is that he has a gun to go with, and they have CT possession in theirs as Bomb goes down again. Exile, that's a collateral as he takes out Simple and finds Boomich immediately after, and the Molotov's going to be thrown by Bit because now they suddenly have to hold on, and Exile tagged up by that Molotov will fall down to 29. The round looks so good. Until the multi-master finds one more. Perfecto through the smoke. Knows Nafani's up close. Saw the trajectory of that smoke, but hasn't actually committed to walking all the way through because they could still fall back. Bit, meanwhile, is going to work, and he'll find two. That's the exact cue that Perfecto needed. Tie game yet again. I want to know what Boomich's role is. 
I think he's just ready and waiting. This is going to be a fake at the A bomb site. Navi has prioritized it the last two rounds. Exile could spot simple though, could ruin everything. He's. Oh no. Oh, they both hear each other. Oh, this is so awkward. And that's the bomb. Simple's got to be so careful. It's all down to this engagement, it feels. 28 seconds of the clock as well. Boomich has dropped out, trying to come middle to help Simple. But Hobbit was still in the bomb site. Navi is stuck in no man's land. Simple even checks it because he heard him. But down he goes, and Axile gets bit as well, who was called over to try and support it. You're right, that got awkward in a hurry. Smoke down in window is Naf, and he tries to spray back through and hit the boxes, but Boomich is going to sneak past those smokes and actually get onto Catwalk. Didn't spot the player at the top side of Connector because there's a smoke down, and he's already in. He's already in indeed and finds Axile. He can't get to this time, but they are still a man up on the Navi side. Not for long. Oh, take it back. Hello to the Krieg is simple. Cleanly takes Naphne's head off of the shoulders and Shiro and Hobbit to pull this back to try and close this game. Otherwise, we've got more rounds and what a map between these two teams. I would happily accept more rounds as simple. Looks like he's going to deliver those to us all on Shiro. AWP bomb still ticking and he'll go for it, but it's going to have to be something amazing. It's going to have to be something more than memorable to win this game and they're not going to peak they're not going to make this easy for him he's got to give up the gig as he gets so much noise and 15 15 we are not done that's a great fight from navi to stay in this that's that's great for them to come back in this game so there is economic impact on Naphne. nearly had a clean shot and got flashed didn't know what else was around the corner so didn't commit to it now he'll back off on middle because he has to Ooh. it's been revealed but not only that it's a fast play from navi they want to go toward a and boom it somehow Despite taking a bullet in the face, is able to lock his aim directly back onto Hobbit. His exile will get him down at least with a nade. The damage significant enough to allow the utility to finish. They forgot the bomb. That the bomb's in T spawn. I was about to say that's not anywhere near the fast play. Oh boy. And if we've seen anything out of these two teams, or definitely out of Gambit. Oh wow, he actually jumped up on the box for that fight. I was gonna say. They like to chill just in case there's a fake or just in case there's a reposition to the other bomb site. But Gambit right now being real dual heavy as they flash themselves back in. Exile's got three on the round and Perfecto is all alone to fall last. 16-15 for Gambit. But nothing can be done of it and he has to concede and fall away as the smoke goes down at his feet. Look at that x-ray position. Three players waiting to come in from Palace. So this is a 3-2 split on A and they're just gonna walk in. They've got the call that there's a player distracted and busy. Simple's got Naphne down. That's the opening from Connector, but they need to be aware that Inters is still at jungle and he's able to get one, but Boomich finally emerges from the window. Is it too little too late? Simple was taken back as well and Hobbit had two kills that had a lot to do with that as Boomich gets taken out. Shiro smartly falls back outside towards CT spawn and the second AWP is going to give a second round in overtime to Gambit. One overtime on map three to determine who will... Go through to the upper bracket final, bypass the lower bracket best of three before a best of five and also have a map in hand. There's a lot to play for. Hobbit's going to get Boomich down. Perfecto at least getting one open up from Navi. Chiro's going to follow up simple again. Despite that he's won the duel so many times between the two of them, he's losing it now that we are into the extra innings. Axile finds Electronic as well. There's no access from Palace. Bombs at the top of Connector. Hobbit has that down and Perfecto left on 28. It's a clean sweep of the first half of overtime by Gambit and now three map points. Yeah, that's that one chance in regulation. Now to give him three is a really dangerous prospect. Simple waiting toward B. Looking for his 20th kill in the game. Time to go off, Simple. Between the two of them. He needs to be careful. Double Molotov down. Damage can stack from those flames, but the smoke goes down on top of them instead. He'll fall away and try and get toward the van, but Naphne and Exile have already opened it up. Simple well blind gets one, but only one. Exile gets in behind. Man, oh man, this kid's good when he looks for the entries on the double kills. As Electronic will take back Shiro, at least some salvation, but it is all on Boomich. Oh my, the map on the man's shoulders. Kits to play with, but he's got to be so quick. He denies the bomb plant. That's something. Smoking himself off, but not enough time. Axile fittingly closes it out, and Gambit will go through to the upper bracket final. Yeah, quad kill for Axile in that round, and he was able to come in and get a lot of entries, and Simple's got to be wondering where his teammates went. They had a perfect setup in the final round. Simple with the op on platform.